Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about uh, finding the uh, slope and concavity from a parametric equation at a given value of the parameter. So, I'll share my computer screen with you. It says find derivative of y with respect to x and the second derivative of y with respect to x and find the slope and concavity. The slope comes from the first derivative, the concavity comes from the second derivative at the given value of the parameter. The parametric equation is x is equal to t square plus 5t plus 4 and y is equal to 4t. The point where we want to find the slope and concavity is t is equal to 0. So, Solution. So the first derivative is dy by dx is equal to, we can write it as derivative of y with respect to t and derivative of x with respect to t. Okay. So derivative of y with respect to t since y, uh, so y is equal to, let's write it here, y equal to 4t. And derivative of y with respect to t is 4. And x is equal to t square plus 5t plus 4. So derivative of x with respect to t is 2t plus 5. Okay, so this is equal to This is equal to derivative of y with respect to t is 4 divided by 2t plus 5. Okay. Now, we will get some space. So, we have to find the second derivative now. So, the second derivative is d2y divided by dx square, which can be written as <clears throat> d of dt. And dx by dt is, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, dy by dx is 4 divided by 2t plus 5, which we have shown in the first step. And that is itself divided by dx by dt. So this is uh, dx by dt. So basically, we divided by dt in the numerator and in the denominator. So d of dt then it was dy by dx is 4 t two, 4 divided by 2t plus 5. And in the denominator, we have dx over dt. Now we need to find out, uh, let's do it over here, d of dt derivative with respect to t, first derivative, 4, 2t plus 5, which is equal to, Okay, so derivative of 4 with respect to z, t is 0, so it is minus 4. And then 2t plus 5 is in the denominator, so in the numerator, it will be 2t plus 5 minus 2. And <clears throat> we have... Uh, uh, this would have been 4, actually, and it is minus one, 1, minus 1. Remember, 2t plus 5 is originally to the power of minus 1. So, derivative of that with respect to... <clears throat> Let me correct that. Let's do it from the beginning. So, this is can be written as derivative 
it can be written as derivative of 4 with respect to t is 0. So it's minus 4, 2, t plus 5. In the denominator, it was power 1. So in the numerator, it will be minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2 divided by 2t plus 5. Okay. 2t plus 5. Sorry, again, I'll erase this. Make a mistake in it. Okay. Let's this one. Okay. So, because the derivative of 4 with respect to t is 0, so the first term zero goes away. And then 2t plus 5, and the, you know that we are using the derivative of uh, quotients. Okay, so the second term is negative 4, and then in the denominator, it will be 2t plus 5, and it was already 1, n plus 1, so it is 1 plus 1 to the power divided by 2. So this will be minus 8 divided by 2t plus 5 squared. Now, we also know derivative of x with respect to t. We have already shown that derivative of x with respect to t is equal to 2t plus 5. The purpose of finding these two derivatives is so that we can find now the second derivative. So, we write here, let's create some space. So now we can write second derivative of y with respect to x squared is we found the uh, term in the numerator is minus 8 divided by 2t plus 5 whole square. And the term in the denominator dx over dt is 2t plus 5. So in the overall grand scheme of things, this is minus 8. 2t plus 5 exponent 2 and then 2t plus 5 exponent 1 in the denominator makes it 2t plus 5 exponent 3. Okay. So, so now let's find out. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, now let's find out uh, point t. Uh, or we have been given a value of t is equal to 0. So, if I move it further up, remember, uh, before I move it up, I want to show you uh, at the point we have been given as at t equal to 0. Okay. So, we already know dy by dx is equal to 4 divided by 2t plus 5. So at t is equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, t is equal to 0, okay, uh, dy by dx at t is equal to 0 is equal to 4 divided by 2 t is 0 plus 5, which is 4 out of 5. So this is my answer for the slope at t is equal to 0. And concavity, so again we have to find the concavity at t is equal to 0. And so At t is equal to 0, concavity, which is given by d square y dx square, second derivative of y with respect to x at t is equal to 0, is equal to minus 8 divided by 2 t is 0 
plus 5 cubed, which is minus 8 over 2 times 0 is 0, 5 cubed, which is minus 8 over 125. Okay. Since we can write, uh, since the concavity, uh, since the conca concavity is negative, since the concavity is negative, concavity is negative. You can say concavity is downwards. The curve is concaving downwards. Concavity is downwards. At t is equal to zero. So before I stop, uh, let me take care of a few small things. So and. Uh, this down. And I'm going to erase this one. This line is not necessary. And this line is also not necessary. So the slope is 4 over 5 and the concavity is minus 8 over 125, which means the curve is concave downwards. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you like this video, share it with your friends. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you.